How are TX and RX used in communication systems? Hey there! Welcome to today's video where we'll be discussing the fascinating world of communication systems. Specifically, we'll explore the important roles played by TX and RX in these systems. So, let's dive right in. What is TX? TX stands for transmitter, and it plays a crucial role in communication systems. A transmitter is responsible for converting information or data into a suitable form for transmission. It takes the input signal, which could be audio, video, or any other type of data, and processes it to be transmitted over a communication channel. Transmitters employ various techniques to encode the information onto a carrier signal. This carrier signal carries the data across the communication medium, such as cables, fiber optics, or wireless channels. The transmitter's main objective is to ensure that the encoded signal is robust, reliable, and efficiently transmitted to the receiver. What is RX? Now that we understand the transmitter's role, let's move on to the counterpart of the system, RX, which stands for receiver. The receiver plays a vital role in the communication process by receiving and interpreting the transmitted signal. It is responsible for extracting the original information from the received signal and converting it back into a usable form. Upon receiving the signal, the receiver performs several operations to recover the original data. These operations typically include demodulation, decoding, error detection, and error correction. The receiver's primary objective is to accurately reconstruct the transmitted information, even in the presence of noise, interference, or other signal impairments. How do TX and RX work together? The transmitter and receiver work hand-in-hand -hand to establish a reliable communication link. Let's take a closer look at how they collaborate to ensure effective communication. 1. Transmission. The transmitter takes the original information and encodes it onto a carrier signal suitable for transmission. It modulates the signal, which involves modifying certain characteristics, such as amplitude, frequency, or phase. 2. Channel. The modulated signal is then transmitted through a communication channel, which could be a wired medium, such as copper or fiber optic cables, or a wireless medium, such as radio waves or microwave frequencies. 3. Reception. The receiver captures the transmitted signal from the channel. It performs demodulation, where it extracts the encoded information from the carrier signal. This process is the reverse of what the transmitter did. 4. Processing. Once the encoded information is extracted, the receiver proceeds with decoding, error detection, and error correction mechanisms. These steps ensure that the received data is accurate and free from any transmission errors or distortions. 5. Output. Finally, the receiver produces the output signal in a form that can be understood and utilized by the recipient, such as audio, video, or any other type of data. And there you have it. The roles of TX and RX in communication systems. Transmitters and receivers are like two sides of the same coin, working together to establish effective communication links. Transmitters encode and transmit information, while receivers receive, decode, and process that information for its final usage. Understanding the functions of these components gives us insight into the intricate workings of modern communication systems. I hope you found this video informative and enjoyed learning about the importance of TX and RX. If you have any questions or want to explore further, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more exciting videos in the future. See you next time!